Good morning, everybody. This week, we are going to be working on the happy letter H. Hurry and hound says, honey, horse says, horse. And there I gallop like a horse to sit back down. Awesome job, boys and girls. All right, let's take a look at this book. And as usual, we'll see what little H will do on his journey. Remember the parts of the book. We have the front. What is this right here? That's your back. Of course, we have the spine. There's our title. There's the author who writes the words and the illustrator draws the pictures. So let's read. Excellent job. Little H had a box. I will find things that begin with my sound, he said. I will put them into my sound box. He found hats. So what did he find? Hats. That's exactly right. He put a hat on his head. Did he put the other hats into his box? He sure did. Little H found a hen. Hello, he said. I need a hen for my sound box. He put the hen into his box with the hats. So now we have hats, head, hen. Then he found a hog. Did he put the hog into his box with the hen and the hats? What do you think? He did. Little H found a horse. He was happy. He hopped onto the horse. So now we have horse and hog for the letter H. He rode the horse up a high hill. I want to go higher, said little H. But the horse could not go higher. They were on top of the hill. So little H put the horse into the box with the hats, the hen, and the hog. So he couldn't go any higher. Let's see what happens. Then little H found a helicopter. Now I can go very high, he said, higher than a hill. The helicopter went so high that the hen, the hog, and the horse cried, Help! 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 So little H put the helicopter into the box. And there you go. They were afraid, weren't they, boys and girls? Now the box was heavy. Little H put it on his head. He did not see the hole. Oops! He hopped into the hole. Help! Help! So let's pause right there. Who's in the hole? You can see what? The hog, little H, the hats, the horse, the hen are all inside the hole. Let's see if he gets some help. How can we get out of this hole? Asked the hen, the hog, and the horse. Happily, little H happened to have a horn. He blew the horn to get some help to come. Let's see who comes. A hippopotamus heard the horn. He helped them out of the hole. Hurrah for the hippo! Everyone shouted happily. So the hippopotamus helped them out of the hole. How can I thank you for helping us out of the hole? Asked little H. You can take me for a ride in the helicopter, said the hippopotamus. So little H took the helicopter out of the box and he and all the other animals went for a ride. I guess they weren't scared anymore, huh? They flew over a hill all the way home. Home starts with the letter what? H. There, little H spread out his things. Look, what do you see? You see a horn, a hat, a hand, a horse, a helicopter, a hog, hats, hippopotamus. My, how many he had. So he was excited about all the things that started with the letter H. Can you read these words with little H? Repeat after me. We have hair, hot dog, harp, another type of instrument, hand, honey, hummingbird, hood, hammer, hospital, hamburger, and heart. All start with the letter H. Great job. Did you enjoy that story? I sure hope you did. Let's look at our H chart. Say happy, hook, hundred, head, hair, house, hay, hold, hand, heel, heart, and there's a hanger right there. Awesome job. Tons of things that began with the sound. Let's look right here. Highlight the letter H like we do at the start of every week. You're going to trace uppercase H, make some. Trace lowercase H, make some. And then you're going to be H detectives and find the letter H with one crayon. Remember, quality work is your very best work. And right here, you can see that I finished mine. Remember, you'll use your pencil, your lapis, where I used a marker. Happy highlighting there. Let's continue to discover what else we're going to be working on with the letter H. Your paper may be pink, and that's okay. Here we go. You're going to um, make uppercase H's all the way upstairs, boys and girls, all the way across. Lowercase H's all the way across. He's 
said hi to me. You're going to write that sentence with quality. Remember the space between your words. And who's missing? You and he. He is a boy. So you're going to draw a picture of you and a boy, your dad, your brother, your uncle saying hello, your friend. Doesn't matter who the who the who, it doesn't matter who the he is, boys and girls. My tongue's getting tied up. So right here, you got, he said hi to me. And look at that. There's Mrs. Brown right here. I'm in this picture and someone saying hi to me. Okay, quality again. Let's stop and read this H book. You see this book. Remember, when we read this book, these have real pictures called photographs. You see pictures of hats. And you also see hats on the first page. Here we go. There's a picture of a beautiful hen and a house. Next, we have a hammer and a hive. Who makes a hive? Bees. That's exactly right. There's a hive. Oh, a horse and a helicopters. Horse. Look at that horse. And look at those helicopters. Three helicopters there. And here we have a hippopotamus. Let's listen to this H poem. Hen's house was just too small, so she gave horse a call. He took his hammer and some wood to her house as fast as he could. Say small, call, wood and could. We have to work on those words that rhyme. All right, your next activity is horse by the hay. You see there's a horse and there's some hay, but there's some things missing. But the first thing I would like for you to do is trace some H's and make some, uppercase and lowercase. And then you are going, you see there's a circle there, big circle, little circle. What shape is that? A triangle, and you have a square. There they are right here. Okay, there they are. You're going to cut them out. Please stay on the lines and cut out neatly and with quality. And then you're going to glue them on to make your horse by the hay. Does everybody see that? Horse by the hay. Excellent job there. All right, let's keep going. Here's our H book. We do one every week with the letter that we're zooming in on. You see your lightning word is for on every page except the last. And then we have on and my. Let's picture walk. What do we see right there? A picture of a horse. She's pulling on her what? Her hair. Next, we have a picture of a what? There's a big picture of a hippopotamus. And then you see the, what is the hippopotamus doing? He's sitting on the chair. Let's read, everybody. Get your pointer fingers ready, and let's read with, like we talk, with fluency. Ready, go. H is for horse. Good job. H is for hair. H is for hippopotamus on my chair. What are the two words that rhyme? We have what? Hair and Mrs. Brown sitting in a what? Chair. Those are the words that rhyme. Great job. Remember with the H book, you circle the H's with a crayon, your lightning words with a pencil. Boys and girls, you read this book as many times as you need to as, to make sure you can read it independently and make sure you color your pictures and this book goes inside your lightning word bag. All right. The last book we're going to read is the H book. The H book. Let's see what we find in this story. Here is a house. Here is a hen. And you have the lightning word here that starts with the letter H also. Here is a horse. Here is a helicopter. Here is a hamburger. Here is a hippopotamus with a hat. Hippopotamus wearing a hat. Listen to this H poem. Ho, 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 I'm a hairy bear. Come and catch me if you dare. Ho, 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 I'm a hairy bear. Come and catch me if you dare. Say bear, hair. Those are the words that rhyme. Excellent job. Your last activity for the letter H looks like this. You are going to trace two H's and then you're going to make the uppercase one. Same thing with lowercase. But down here, you see there's a hat, hand, heel, hen, heart, and holes. But they're missing the first letter, which is the H. You're going to insert the H and trace the remaining letters. And then at the bottom, you have to read these sentences. And you can do that, re revisiting your color words. The hat is pink. The hand is orange. The heel is brown. The hen is red. The heart is yellow. The holes is green. 
So boys and girls, after you complete the words, make sure you color the words based on what the sentences tell you to do, okay? And this is quality at its best right here. So let's make sure we have a fantastic H book. And one thing that I didn't do at the beginning that I'm going to do now is our writing song. Where do you start your letters at the top, at the top? Where do you start your letters at the top, at the top? If you want to start a letter, then you better, better, better remember to start it at the top, at the top. Uppercase H, boys and girls, looks like this. Long line, long line, short line. Long line, long line, short line. Long line, long line, short line. And we stay all the way upstairs. You try it. Long line, long line, short line. Lowercase h is upstairs also and downstairs. Long line, short curve around. Long line, short curve around. Long line, short curve around. Everybody see that? And you will have a chance to work on your H's as well this week. Happy, happy H week. Let's keep the learning going.